Happy Thursday, everyone. Welcome to episode two of the Celica build. We kind of had a stalemate after we cleaned it out in the last episode. We really just didn't have any parts to get out here and get working on the car. We had ordered a few things, but they were coming from farther away and wouldn't be here for a while. Um, we had sent out the lock cylinder and finally we have keys so that we won't have to be really ghetto and start the car with screwdriver. Um, today I've got a few things that I can install. We got um, the hub and the quick release and everything and we're gonna get the uh, steering wheel in there so that we don't have to have this big gigantic steering wheel any longer. We're gonna put the lock cylinder back in and put the steering column plastics back on. Um, there's a few other little things that we're gonna work on today. The bumpers are here. I don't think that we're gonna get to putting those on today just because um, I kind of want to get them painted black before they go on the car. I don't want them to be white. Um, there's no way we're going to match them in with the silver of the car because this thing is just so faded that it's useless to put fresh paint on anything. Um, eventually we'll probably paint match them in with the color of the car once we paint it. I'm probably going to try and see if I can get the car up, get those old calipers off. We had a really, really hard time sourcing a new caliper. Seems like all the stores were telling us they don't exist anymore. Uh, we called every local parts store around and they were saying they have none in the state. States, sorry, states. <laughs> Couldn't have it shipped from anywhere, not even places like Rock Auto or anybody carried it. So we found one from another Celica owner who let him go for real cheap, real nice guy. So we're going to get those on there and I'll be able to drive this thing after that. I mean, now that we're not starting it with a screwdriver. <laughs> Well, I got the hub on there. I got the lock cylinder back in. All of the surround is back on. But now that that's on there and I put the steering wheel up against it, it's kind of a little too much in my face. So the hub is a little too long. I don't know that they even sell a shorter hub for the Celica. So for now, I'm just gonna take the quick release stuff off of there and just run the steering wheel straight onto the hub. Uh, hopefully at some point I can figure out a better solution. Maybe there's another um, short hub for a different car that I can make work for this one. Um, but this is just a quick solution for now. So when the Celica episode aired, we had a lot of people commenting on the fact that it is an automatic, which yes, that's true. You just don't find one in that shape or condition ever, so it didn't really matter to me that it was an automatic. We knew we would just search around and try and find one that was manual, which lucky for us, we did. So this car is pretty much rusted through in every single space. Um, <laughs> it's real rough. I mean, it's probably not something that's ever going to be salvageable so I don't feel bad for taking the transmission out of it um, so that's soon to come we just don't want to be out here in the pouring rain and the giant puddle that's hanging out underneath the car so probably the first dry day that we have we're gonna come out and rip that stuff out of there all right guys jams camera is about to die because she can't stop playing this video game on there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this god awful park bench front bumper off and we're gonna put these dope ass fiberglass JDM bump or JDM bumpers they're replicas of the JDM bumpers and they look really good and we're they need a little bit of finish work done on them to make sure that they're perfectly straight but right now we're just gonna spray them black 
and we're gonna start working on putting them on. We don't know if we're gonna be able to get to the rear one today, but we're definitely gonna get to the front one. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Peep that time lapse. All right, we got the park bench off. Now Jam is working on taking this top piece off so we can make way for the Japanese style bumper and hopefully it fits good. Um, what we're gonna have to do is right over here, it has the little brackets, but there's no holes. So we're gonna have to line it up the best we can, maybe tape it up there and then figure out how to mark the holes so we can drill them in here and then bolt them to the car. <laughs> All right, guys, there it is. The bumper is on there. Um, it has. We have to square it up a little bit, but it looks really good. Um, we just have to figure out how to mount it because the mounting points kind of angle in a direction that is completely, I don't know if you can see this. They mount like, like this when, and they won't get close to where the actual like USDM bumper mounted, but the bumper is so light and they're kind of angled up towards uh, towards this valance piece here. Yeah. So what we're thinking is that we're just gonna make brackets that mount it to this valance piece because it's a light fiberglass bumper. It doesn't take a lot of, uh, it doesn't need a lot of supports to hold it up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a line in the middle. We're gonna center this up. Then we're gonna take this, the bumper off and this valance piece off. And we're gonna fig figure out how to build a mount to mount the bumper to the valance piece. That way we can put it on the car. All right guys, I welded in these studs into this cut in half L bracket because I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them on here. I'm gonna put them right here and I'm gonna fiberglass them in so there's a stud that comes out that way and there's already a hole on her Celica over in the corner where a stud can go through. That way when I put the bumpers on, this stud will go through the, through a hole in her fender and I can just stick a nut on, the, on it on this side and that side and then with these brackets we'll have mounting here mounting here and mounting in the middle. All right, we have these little studs fiberglassed on. It was kind of a pain in the ass because the fiberglass wasn't setting up uh, fast enough and they were kind of sliding around so I had to hold one of them in place for a while but they look phenomenal and they're gonna be strong enough one week later all right everybody back out here the robo girly we're trying to pull the transmission and all the drivetrain out of this one so we can manual swap the silver one uh, in this fucking rainstorm and there's a giant puddle under the car that's about we'll say an inch and a half deep. Jam's over here in the MR2 shell pulling out the alarm so we can install that into our new car. So that's what we're doing right now. Doesn't look like much, just a bunch of crusty old metal, but this is all of the five speed stuff that we need to get the Celica swapped over. Clutch and flywheel and all that. So yeah, we just spent the last couple hours outside in the puddles, getting this thing out of there. There were a lot of pieces that were a pain in the ass, but there it is. The bumper is on. The studs are in there they've been fiberglassed onto the bumper themselves so that this mounts up exactly where the old bumper did i mean as you can see this thing looks a thousand times cooler already with that bumper on there next we have to try and fit the pieces that sit here 
they are going to have to be cut in order to fit properly in there. As you can see, they have this little bit of an extra piece here that will no longer fit. But we did happen to find these in the back of the parts car out there. And I'm not sure, but I think that this might be the JDM piece that is supposed to sit right there. So, I mean, we'll probably just, uh, once we make sure the bumper is exactly where we want it to be, try and see if those pieces actually fit in there or chop up the ones that came on the car. So that's all we have time for today, though. I mean, we got a lot done. We got all that five-speed stuff out, and as you can see, the bumper is on. We'll work on getting the other bumper on when we come back next week and getting the transmission out of this car so that we can get the five-speed and stuff in there. So... As always, like and subscribe and share it with all your friends so that they can all see the Celica come back to life.